throughout the world, yeah? They, all, they also got uh, related benefits, yeah? So, from my perspective and where I come from, from Northeastern province, if you get this, if you if you are elected, I would like this, the benefit that I give, an extra benefit that, uh, that are given to Northeastern or Northern region, or, uh, you know, disadvantaged regions, to be regulated with the extra benefit that are paid. Because if you go to the, to the constitution, from that day, all the one them is that allowed office. to go back to the constituencies <laughs> and sort out. Well the done. Programs. Good question, Zanjiro. They're paid entertainment, they're paid a lot of things. Northeastern people, when they're elected, you never see them, or most of them, until five, five years are over. Number three, number three, equal opportunity, okay? Women and men, for oh, those who are elected, we must play equal opportunity. The 47 counties with the new constitution we are proud of the modern one they give women 47 opportunities extra seats forget about the other seat on on competitive on our women we would like to have the the you know we would like to have the the principal of susan kiga and mother karua and many 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 of them like the woman from Vega tonight yeah principle number one transparency equality everything because these 47 what have they done differently from men what are we proud of with this you know this revolution they brought new extra women into seats in my region i don't see them or whatever so we need equal opportunity for women to go through it. and another okay. question on northeastern is excellent <laughs> i think i think just uh, so so that i don't forget eh? so that Mishimu i should deputy president just hold on that's all right on. So that I don't forget, uh, I, I think it's good, just only fair everybody to ask one question. Because if you ask three questions, it becomes complicated. But let me try and uh, just respond to Honorable Aden Duale was with us in America. We have sent him back to Nairobi because there is an assignment he must do. That's why he didn't come here. So he is landing today in Nairobi because he has an assignment. Number two, uh, the issue of uh, Northeastern and uh, whether they are treated the same as the rest of the country. Let me tell you, amongst the highest paid members of parliament on mileage and uh, all those other allowances are members from Northeastern Kenya. That is for a fact, and they will tell you. In fact, people like Ichungwa here, they suffer. They, get, they don't get any money because from, he, from his place to, from Nairobi to his constituency, it's only 15 kilometers. So he rarely gets any money out of that mileage, uh, Maneno. So if they don't show up in Northeastern, it's not because they are not being need my phone enumerated phone. to go back home. It must be a different story. On the third one, uh, I disagree with you. Women have brought a lot of value in the legislature in Kenya. I know many people want to complain that they don't see the value of women members of parliament. I want to tell you, my good brother, there are many women that are running today for MPs, and I know four of them that we first nominated, they went and ran for those offices and won. So we must accept that affirmative action is necessary for us to bring the level of representation of both gender in the governance of our country. And you can never run away from 